Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm in the hotel room. I'm in Texas. I'll tell you guys that. I'd like to keep that personal for safety's sake. Now, um, let's go over some things for me. If you guys see anyone typing, check out this proclamation, Sam. Look at U.S. Um, Senate bill, whatever. If you'll underneath them, if you'll comment, can you add a link for her? Or ask them to email me a link. That would save me a tremendous amount of time. Okay, like so much time because so much great information is coming in. The, the problem is when I do get to look at the views, uh, I mean, when I do get to look at the comments, don't always have time to comment back. And I write things down that I think are interesting. I have like uh, a really cool notebook. So what I'm doing is I'm um, kind of writing things down. Now the lady that called me from Maui, let me tell you guys this, this is off the chain guys. Can I tell you how good the Holy Spirit is? Come on Jesus. I mean like I could have church all by myself tonight. Okay, so I was down. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like they put us back on the plane I'm thinking, yes, you know, so now we're in 10 minute flight. I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna have like 30 minutes, but the gate I was arriving in was only two terminals over, like two gates over from where I was departing out of. So I had like, you know, 50, 50 steps to take when I got off one plane, get right back on the next. I'm like, I've got this, I've got this. We're sitting there, 10 minutes passes, and finally the pilot comes on, he's like, well, we're gonna refuel, um, we're gonna add, no, that's how he put it. We're gonna add a little fuel to this flight. We just got off this plane. We had just tried to take this plane into the air. What made you need to put more fuel in it? I was not the only person that was literally 10 minutes late to their flight. I met a young woman from Louisiana who was going to her engagement party in Jamaica. I met a couple who was on their way to like uh, Puerto Rico. I uh, met an old, old man who was on his way to New Mexico. So it it was very discouraging. Like a lot of us had, um, you know, flights over oceans and stuff that we needed to take. So basically we came in and we landed and I was like, I, I hit the button. Like we'd already landed, we're taxiing in to our, so I hit the, the, the call button. So here comes the, the little um, airport girl, you know, um, flight attendant. And she says, can I help you? And I said, yes, ma'am, look, it is exactly 1032. My flight from Maui departs at 1045 at like two gates from where we're, we're taxiing in. Could you radio ahead and tell them I am here and I'm present to hold the plane for me? Because there is not another plane leaving from American Airlines anyway today for Maui and she goes, well, can I see your, your ticket stub <sighs> or your boarding pass? I dig all that out, hand it to her. She scans it and she goes, well, they've already removed the walkway. They're starting to taxi out. What? Guys, we're coming in real slow. I raise up my little window, sunshade thing because I'm sitting by the window. I look out and there goes my Maui flight. And I got down, I'm not gonna lie. Like, and all of a sudden my phone rings. And I'm, now I'm kinda, you know, you get frustrated, I'm human, right? I look down, it's my son. He's in Bible school in Tampa and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna answer this, but it's my son. So I'm gonna answer it because I didn't wanna answer because I, I was frustrated, right? So I answer the phone and my son is like, mom, we're gonna pray. And I'm like, Sam, I'm, I'm on a flight. You know, we're, we're taxiing in, everybody's starting to grab their stuff. We're getting ready to take our seatbelts off. He said, no, right now we're gonna pray. And y'all, when I tell you my son had me laughing in the spirit before I got off that plane, that kid turned it all around right there. Like he got his mom back in the spirit. And so it's good in your, to have those people in your life, right? So I get off, get off the plane. They sent us all to the desk. Okay, now this flight was booked from New Orleans to Texas. There must have been 60, and I'm not exaggerating, 60 people in line, y'all. And I looked at line, 30 minutes I stand there. The same person that was in the front of the line was still in the front of the line. 
And I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? So I'm like, oh my gosh, my luggage, right? I didn't make the other flight, so it can't be going to Maui. So I'm like, I look around and I'm like, whatever, I am starving. I'm gonna, I've already missed the flight. So I'm gonna leave here, I'm gonna go get my luggage. So I run down to get my luggage. God is so good. Run into a young woman, tells me exactly where to go upstairs to get the reservate, the, the room, you know, to get this room booked that I'm in, to get a food voucher, $12. What a joke. Come on, American. I'm going to be here 24 hours to give me $12. I'm from Louisiana. We eat. But it's okay. God's got me. Fast forward. Luggage is fine. <clears throat> I didn't have to get it. It's actually going to be on the flight with me tomorrow. I did check a couple of the airlines. I really wanted to get to Maui tonight. It would have had me coming in to Maui anywhere from nine o'clock at night to like one tomorrow morning. Guys, I'm a woman traveling by herself and no thank you. Mm -mm. No thank you. So the lady that I'm going to be meeting with, okay, that called me today, because this is how good the Holy Spirit is. It gets my room, I eat, I settle down, I take a deep breath, my phone rings. I'm like, okay, it says, it says Hawaii. So I'm like, well, I better take this. Y'all, do y'all know the guy BJ? In that clip with, um, that they were showing him talking to Nania, right? And they were saying that he ran against Governor Green for the governorship. He's Republican, blah, blah, blah. That guy, she knows him well. We're going to see if I can't interview this man. I am so excited, all right? On top of that, she's a small business owner. She also has land in Louisiana. She is a Christian. I know some of you might not be, but that's a big deal for me, all right? Because that's my sisters and my brothers. I don't care what color you are, what sex you are. None of that matters when you're a Christian. Like, we're connected spiritually. So, I was so tickled pink. And she offered to take me around the island to meet the indigenous Hawaiians, right? The ones that will talk to me, the ones that want to talk to me. And she did tell me this fire was on purpose. And that a lot of the people in Hawaii, on, on Maui, believe that not all, but some of their kids were taken. So, you guys keep praying. Keep praying. When we get the negative comments on the YouTube channel, there's not much we can do but tell them, you know what, Jesus loves you. Look, dude, you, you do you. But my thing is this. I've seen some YouTube people and they're like, I'm not going to clip other people's stuff. And, you know, I'm not going to ask for money. Well, that's great. You shouldn't ask for money if you're going to sit at your house. But if you're going to get up and go, you do what you have to do to walk out God's vision, right? Because he's going to give you the provision. But let me tell you guys this. I'm not any better or any different than any one of you. The difference is this. God told me to go and I went. He's not going to tell everybody to go. He's going to give you an assignment, all right? And you have to do it. The thing that, and it does frustrate me, that frustrates me a lot is when I see comments like, we need so-and-so to go and save us. We need, we need this person to come and fix it. No, we don't. No, we don't. If that person needed to be there, then God would get them there, right? That's how I feel about things. The problem is, is that God tells people to do stuff and they talk themselves out of it. They're like, oh no, there's no way. I, no way I could go to Maui, God. I don't have any money. I'd be traveling by myself. I'd be scared. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to do that. I don't know, I don't know how to, to fly over the ocean or, you know, I wouldn't know what to do when I got there. I mean, like you'll talk yourself out of it. When God said, Sam, go, I looked at my husband. I said, Stephen, I'm going to Maui. Okay. So that's what, that's what I'm, I'm not any better than anybody. The reason I'm that way is because I was saved by grace. And this is what I tell people. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. If I would go into war zones and project housing to get dope back in the day, then I can go into a war zone and a burnt city to save souls. Guys, you have to remember, you're a warrior. You're not a mouse, okay? You're not a mouse. Too many of God's Christian children see themselves as weak. We are powerful. Everything about us is light and truth. We're to release people from bondage. So that that's our assignment, guys. That's our assignment. If you have a problem in your life, if your first response is to say, oh, I need so-and-so, or I wish so-and-so, or if I had this, I could fix it, stop right there. 
your first response ought to be, God, give me wisdom, okay? You are enough. You don't need anybody, guys. You need Jesus. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Father. But you, you are enough. You can solve your own problems, I promise you. You can walk out the vision God gave you. Don't get to heaven. Don't get to heaven. And you were the one that he gave the vision to, to cure cancer. You were the one he gave the vision to, to find a solution to the homeless problem. You were the person that he gave the vision to on uh, creating a healthy organic dog food that was affordable so people's pets live longer and that service dogs could would be more healthy, right? Because a lot of money goes into training them. Do you see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what the issue is. God's gonna give somebody a vision to fix it. But our problem is we're trained to ask for help. We don't need nobody's help. I don't need nobody's help. Well, I needed you guys. <laughs> I needed you guys and I need Jesus. But y'all know what I mean. God bless you. I'm done. I'm I'm done. I'm going to take a bath and I ordered some Chinese food and I don't know. I don't know. Rest of the night, guys, I'm going to play with this GoPro and I'm just going to chill. I'm going to watch TV. I think I'm actually going to watch TV. Something that doesn't say Maui, really, because I'm letting all that fit in my head. I feel like my head's going to pop because, you know, your brain's a muscle and mine is seriously on overload. Love you guys. Love you guys. Stay safe. Hashtag where are the children?